Oh, looking forward to seeing another Tirana. And speaking oh. of Darren Beale, that's his mate. And that is a HQ GDS Monaro with a lot of smoke trailing up as they run up Wakefield Street. And everyone taking evasive action down there. It's happened in one of the real tricky points that Senna Chicane. It's a quick approach and he's pulled the HQ up to the left-hand side up there at Wakefield Street. And there's Thomas Randall. Now, has he gone off on the oil down the chicane? I would say yes, judging by that shot in the background down. And he's done some damage too to car number four. So he's hit the tyres. You can see a little bit of a crease in that guard. So he's been in. So the engine in that HQ Monaro would have gone on the start finish straight. Big trail of oil down through the centre chicane. We're about to find out exactly what happened. Quick approach. There's the HQ expiring. Oh, oh and there's Tom. 20-year-old into the fence quite hard. Now, Leo Tobin had an incident in that car last year, spinning that into the chicane backwards. That was locking the brakes, but that is a big engine detonation for car number 19. And there was a whole heap of cars right behind him there too that managed to get away with it. Not so for Thomas Randall. Predictably enough, that's brought the red flag out. It was a good save from Darren Beale because when the engine expires and it dumps oil all over the rear tyres, it's pretty easy to have a crash on your own. And yeah. he did a nice job keeping it out of the fence. You can see Ryan Hansford in the background in that yellow Holden Tirana, former V8 Ute racer, joining the series full-time this year. Great new addition. And his introduction to Touring Car Masters was a hair-raising moment. And that's Thomas Randall wandering back to pit lane. And that's his car owner, who's not going to be overly happy to see his car parked in the gravel trap. Nothing Tom could do there, by the way. No. You get caught out on someone else's oil. Oh, the damage to the right front of the Sky Sands entry. That's Rusty's business down in country Victoria. Never turned out a bad livery in his life. There's something about black and gold on race cars. He's been a great supporter of Thomas's career as well. Sponsored him overseas last year and into the Toyota Racing Series in New Zealand over the summer. So great to see him finding and developing some young talent. Red flag is out. Sorry, jump over no, something, no. mate. Red flag in the session here. The time will continue on. We don't freeze the time here, so this will eat in to the 20-minute session of which we're inside the second half. And the first red flag of the Clipsal 500 replay, real time, bang, into the wall, goes the Sky Sands entry. And that's why they've got several rows of tyres and the protection down there at the centre came because this kind of thing could happen. So he had a big slide once he got onto that oil and just corrected it and unfortunately drilled it across to the right-hand side into that tyre barrier. And watch the HQ Monaro here. So you see the smoke and oil and debris coming out of the 350 Chev engine under the bonnet of that car, and it has a big slide. And as I said, he was lucky not to end up parked against a wall. So hopefully he'll be able to get that car back to the support race paddock here at the Clipsal 500 and get a new engine in that car and hopefully get out on the grid for qualifying maybe this afternoon. Busy day for these runners yeah. too, Matt. So they'll be looking to get as much track time as they can early on.